Amen. But some of you are ignorant because you have low self-esteem, uh, don't, you know, poor body image, whatever, don't know how to act, whatever, not clean, whatever. You help raise up strange women. And I'm spoiling already. You inspire strange women. I write this down for everybody who thinks they're only Somebody's gonna roll up on your husband. Now depending on if you friends out here tell you. Amen. Huh? If you're a female, if you're a you lady, then your lady never competed with another female. She know when it came to her, huh. Hey. <laughs> huh? Oh, no. No. Y'all laughing. Y'all laughing, but I got women here need some help. Amen. Amen. They need some help. I'm going to give them a pass. They're instantly helping strange women. We call them Betty, Betty Wright in the day, right? You know what kind of woman? You got a mop and a broom. Mop, broom, bucket. Amen. Why do you think I'm trying to build up the image of my beautiful 14 year old and her sister in the penitentiary over there? Amen, huh? First of all, because there'll never be a strange woman and they'll never have to worry about a strange woman. Amen? It starts now. Okay? So Solomon loved many strange women. Let's see what it costs. Three. I took this off. I don't worry. The daughter of Pharaoh, women of the Moabites. A bunch of women. Look at these saints. The Aramites. Good gracious. The Aramites. Ooh, I feel a, a, a sexually transmitted disease in that state. Now you know all of them ain't clean. You know all of them ain't clean. Why does that matter? That's too many women. Oh man, y'all want me to go off. Not with my green boots on. I ain't stuck them up. Uh, that's too many women. Where is prayer fight? If my people. You see, he say, my nephews who are called by thy name. You know God ain't hearing that prayer. God ain't There's too many women, my man. And if Father calls him the kingdom, uh, you have to raise your sons and man. How not to sacrifice their future because of some women. Right. And young girls. That's right. You don't want your son with no dude either. Man, you got the parent nowadays. Uh, you don't let your son come home with no boyfriend. You gotta be kidding. You gotta come with your son. Come on, y'all got the parent nowadays. Amen. Everybody got cell phones, they got access to porn, all kinds of spirits are coming up there, and you already know that Satan is after the male seed. Period. You got a parent. You gotta show up at your child's school with a surprise. Amen. You gotta take a day off and hang out at the bus stop. Amen. Get on the bus with them. Huh? If your daughters are gorgeous, you gotta get and let everybody in the school know. Amen. Huh? You gotta make sure a teacher don't pick them up. That's right. That's right. That's right. And what that y'all living in? Yes, sir. Huh? They shouldn't have no computers. You don't have access to them. Uh, Their phone can only be able to receive text. Amen. And that's just from you. You're not the parent now, baby. So you fool around, you'll lose your child. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. You'll lose your child early. Okay? Ah, great. I'm rolling already. I'm surprised. Of the nations concerning which the Lord said unto the children of Israel, you shall not go into them, neither shall they come in unto you. Is that a command? For yes, well, sure. Leave them alone. Nowadays, the new, the new type of Christian, which is really is not Christian, uh, that's where the strange woman, the spiritual one gonna come in. There's the bride of Christ, and then there's the so-called Christians that don't feel like God has any restrictions on them. No restrictions, no accountability, and that's why those pastors are filled with people full of sugar. Amen. They don't have no I got people here that no accountability, no conviction, no stand, and you wanna know why Satan scoop your kids up and scoop you up. Okay? Here's a restriction. Uh, if God takes it, if the Holy Ghost, if the Lord Jesus Christ can't tell you where to go, what to do, you don't belong to Him. He ain't never 
talking about with the argue, brother. It's your thing. Do what you want to do. Amen. God has some instruction for all of us. He even said that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. You don't toss your body around. Amen. There's always restriction. And yet there's a freedom in Christ Jesus. Uh, some of you won't learn to you marry somebody, amen, who didn't have no structure. Then you're going to find out. Those structures, you know, nobody raised them, they fuck wild, amen. It will cost you some of the best years of your life. Uh, but somebody with structure, amen. I guess you that young woman is thankful how she raised him, amen, because whatever she did or didn't do, she got to live with. Man, now you know if her daughter in laws are crazy about her, they're thankful, amen. Thank you for raising your son to work, provide, amen. Be a man of God, come to the house of God, pay tithes, offers, and steal for the future, build a legacy. Thank you! Thank you for not signing all those mess over young women. Thank you, amen. I got to worry about them. I'm praying something home. I can come on, girl. I mean, whatever. I mean, they don't spend condoms under the bed. Oh!
So, so people can be drawn to you by your sense of style. Amen. Your father to live holy. And here, amen, they come to your studio, the Holy Ghost fall in man. Right? Because you don't want strange one to mess up what God said, I'll raise you up for. And when God raised you, he raised you up for a purpose. He'll never raise you up for you to think you better than people. He raised you up for a purpose, all right? So they turn his head. Strange God turns your head from God. Read. Solomon clay unto these in love. Clay? Ain't that the word you're supposed to use for your wife? Mm-hmm. Is that the same word? Yes. Clay, which means we got glue. He was glued to all the crazy heifers. Why can't you say that? I say heifer, but I'm black, so I say heifer. I say heifer, but I don't know. I say heifer, but I don't know. He claimed was glued to all those strange women. Amen. Now, 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 now. The strange woman in the spirit think that they can have strange women and still be Christian. And one whole woman said, God always do I have a problem with women. Man. But he's an entertainer with no accountability. Read them. And he had 700 wives. Oh my goodness. Let me help my man. If you make one happy, you're doing wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you not, not, not break down one, just brace all that. Ain't Right one. If you make one happy. Huh? Now that's 699 unhappy women. Unsatisfied. Amen. Huh? I've been sorry for number 698. You know she ain't getting nothing but a buzzer sleeping all the time. One. That's just a lie, all right? 700, Princesses and 300 concubines, and his wives turned away his heart. Oh, he didn't have that left. Read that again, the phone, man. And he had... You don't you know, name your church King Solomon. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. You're so hard on this up in there. Yeah. King Solomon, that's why King Solomon got King Solomon. Which one are you talking about? Hey, man. Man, you're a certain King Solomon. Hey, man, right. Read. And he had 700 wives, princesses, and 300 concubines. Well, three, 300 women on the side. Yeah. How many of y'all know God ain't putting up with this? Amen. Hey, Amen. Hey, Huh? And so, let me talk about my little young couple, they make babies. Oh man, they, they all in love. Man, they, they in love and they, and they freaking too. They just be enjoying each other. Every day is a so and so picnic. Amen. Hey, huh? Amen. Huh? Amen. 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 Look at him all sitting here like he's talking about that. I sure am. Amen. That's just a little nasty. That girl's amen, but in the right way. Because when you're married, it ain't nasty. Huh? Man, they so happy. They all blew up. And, huh? Come on, Brianna. Turn, turn it down. You get the grip. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Amen. Huh? Let me encourage y'all right now. Uh, don't be like the old bride up married folk in the church. <laughs> Hiding themselves. Huh? <laughs> Act like they're going to Cambodia, Vietnam, or Afghanistan. Amen. Huh? Watch this now. Yeah. Torturing their husband. Inspiring the strange one. Uh, 
Can you imagine a strange woman trying to roll up on seven? No. It might have to be eight. Hey. See, Eric, you know, man, you know, man. Like, like you, 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 you eat lunch on Wednesday, right? You're like, oh, man, Eric, that's so cute, baby. All in the cafeteria, hey, man, it's for regular you. Oh, oh, that's even better. You ain't got four strikes yet. Amen. You a senior analyst when you got three strikes and a star, right? They they say? All right, you so in love. You ain't even got on your show. I ain't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm number one. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let me go look at my shirt. That's when you in love. So I ain't know what rank you are. Somebody, watch this now. An officer, you know, you're not supposed to mingle with a listen. An officer, every time you go to see me, she's trying to hear me. A second lieutenant. Gave me every kind of green light, wasn't no yellow light, wasn't no red light. It was straight green. Just come on through. So watch this now, Ariel. Hey, what you do? Hey, Amen. For you on your crew, Ariel, hey, put on your badge, dresses, and all high heels. Hey, let them know what a senior airman got. Man, I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen. You're gonna walk in there and the whole cafeteria gonna shut down. Hey, the whole cafeteria is gonna shut down. And you know, Stephanie, he just just a grin. And, and he's like, who in the world is that? That something can't no strange woman compete with. Amen. You got to go in with that little bouncing walk. Believe it or not, she's gonna tell about it. I got people like Aaron. I got this guy in school. I got this. They don't like nice men. They can't wait to get slapped. They, they can't wait to get cut out. Cheated on. Amen. Edges don't grow no more. Edges fed. I fed them. Amen. But somebody want a nice man. And, uh, don't, don't, don't lie. No, you don't. No, you don't. You can't wait to go buy some gold fronts and, and, and make a payment at Gerber up five here pay. You can't wait to take your hard-earned money and put some 26s in the hoop on somebody's raggedy whip. That's what I thought you wanted. Uh, 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 somebody want a nice man. I want to see if I'm going to be married with this. And boy, that area won't get in. I can't compete with that. Write this down, Mary. Well, no strange woman should be able to compete with you. I can't compete with that. Hey, man, that man a little too happy. Huh? It was like, what about the aggressive one? How do y'all know there's some aggressive ones out there? Uh, you lying, no, you don't. You did do that better than one. No, 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 you don't. There's some aggressive one. There's some women, there's some strange women out there. Write this down in your heart. They only want married men. They don't like single men. Right. They want to belong to somebody else. Aggressive. Huh? Well, you can't be waking up looking like beat the band, looking like James Brown at the hard concert. You can't. Hey, Amen. And before we leave it, we're going to trying to be fresh. I don't want to eat out of those garbage cans. Man, I'm thinking hard, man. Yeah, I say, well, I'm going to take that thing like, oh, my God. That's what I'm saying. No. It's called pastoring. Because as holy as you get to trade in your garbage can for something fresh. Amen. We got to get the garbage out the can. God didn't have a mind fight over ugly one only because she's clean. <laughs> huh? Stinky. 
Tony Goofy smiled on the front, but he had a mind on it. Because he's fresh. Exciting. I can step down. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Let it. Let it go roll up. Somebody with a nice guy. Ariel. Yeah, I, I, no, I look like Ariel. I can tell it one time. I'm strolling through that. I'm strolling through that. Amen. You know what that does? That calm all the crazy heifers down. So, so, man, they're like, well, I can't compete with that. You're not supposed to. Amen. When it comes to you, you got to have a strong self image and self body image. When it comes to you, it's a non compete clause. Right? Mm -hmm. There could have been a King Solomon Apostolic Church if he just had one woman. But come on, a thousand? That's a mega church. <laughs> he had a mega church in his bedroom. I ain't said that, all right? Uh, here's the problem in verse 4. For it came to pass. What happened to him? When Solomon was old. He got old. That his wife turned out. Testosterone jumped out of his life. Yeah. <laughs> One of those helpers took some years off of him. Huh? Somebody went to ride twice, three or four times. And he got old. Now don't be kidding. <laughs> Tell it on yourself. Really? <laughs> Huh? Somebody, he got, he got what? Oh, oh! oh. Watch this now. You got to look up. I ain't reading no script to look up. Hold up. Why don't have somebody who gets it? There's such a thing as, I know. Give it my best shot. Hey, you have had too many women. Now, I ain't getting mad if I'm staring out the window all day. You have too many women. Hey, man, aren't you glad you saved yourself, son? Be like, man, I, man, I ain't even want my hair no more. Hey, man, I, I can't even call my hair no more. Hey, man, I need sleep. Don't be some old dusty man with the paint on his face out. Too many women! Too many. I know, I, hey, 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 you know what? No. Man, if a gorilla from the zoo is scared to come in here, they'd be like, oh, we need a day to have a <laughs> Now, he done popped everything at the zoo, and you don't even care. He got old. Watch this now. Watch this now. Watch this now. He said, "Wait a minute. You can't stop. You can't stop the aging process. No, you cannot. But you can, man. But you can always rejoice with the wife of our youth. That's the beauty of young love. Amen. The wife and everybody that likes to do it made fun of you and said he must be gay. I'm like, that son of walking that amen." You. You, 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 man. What you? Of course you did. It's a freak. You never did. That's no virus. Talk about close call. Talk about can you trust it? Talking about difference between a, a 2020 vet. I'm gonna get one. Hang on, y'all. I'm gonna get one. Why? I want one. I'll be on this seat. Amen. Uh, a 2020 vet. <laughs> and a you go. <laughs> you know what a you go is. You know why? Because you ain't going nowhere if you got one. <laughs> 
Ain't that a close call? Ain't that a close call? Anybody want to give God some little praise for the close call? Amen. Oh, I bet you do. Come on, man. Don't play. If anybody at all fight you, Jesus, that should be me getting cheated on. That should be me, amen, fighting wrong in the house, amen. That should be me, amen. Remember what my daughter said? Sitting right now. Stop crying. What happened to you? Stop crying. She said, I ain't cut. I ain't cut. I ain't cut. I ain't cut. I'm there. Give me some time to sit here right now. Man, man, man. If you have both something to say, they sit here right now. Look at it. You have low sun city, low sun image. The woman against the man to today's paper, that Hollis woman. That man's been mistreating her for two decades. That's 20 years ago. Amen. Okay? And I'm your enemy because I teach high sun city. I'm going to make somebody hate you. Get ready. 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 That's real talk. There'll never be a strange moment in this. I mean, the lady had breakfast on Saturday. She said, she's coming with her age, and she said, there are women there 20 years younger than her. She's the best looking woman in there. They look pitiful. That's what happens when you get love. Amen. Amen. When you get cheated on, you start accepting that. Amen. And you can't keep accepting it and keep accepting it. And then you get scared to leave. And then you get old. It's a wrap. Amen. And well, man, I'm, I'm cooking now. Nobody wants to let go of their food. Nobody does. Amen. We're going to teach the kids on the second row. Amen. Observe. Now know who you grew up with. Do background check. Get somebody with the database. You know why? Life is short. Because you get healed up, amen. Who in here don't have five years to get free? Ten years. You ain't got that kind of time. That's a lot of time. To be miserable. This man got old. What made him think he could keep a thousand of them? Now he tripped. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Now he, oh, he can't even get a prayer up. <laughs> now some of y'all are young and mad, but you act old, we're going to help y'all tonight. <laughs> oh, not me, I'm in my car. I'm missing the game of Jackson now, but it's okay, we're allowed. Okay. <laughs> Amen. If you're alive, I'm going home. Don't even know I'm going home. They're going to help y'all. Some of y'all, you know, because you, 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 you acted old while you're young. You're not coming together. You think it's a game. Your husbands are suffering. They got access to porn. There's people on the job trying to work on them. You are playing games. And I'm here to tip your game or I'm going to slap your monopoly board off the table. And I'll take all your property and everything else. We're going to get you some help in the sanctuary. Amen. Amen. It's going to be free. Huh? And quit playing games. Huh? 
You can't be upset about a strange woman when you be accessory to the adultery. Yeah. You accessory. Yeah. And then be miserable. Why, why? Because I'm so good at this. Huh? So when your body collapses, why would you tell God to heal your body? So your body can remain miserable? You're doing yourself in. Whatever you don't use, you lose. You're doing yourself in. This man got all kind of mind fights and you, you, got, you got all not to come together. Talk to me now. You open it up for the strange woman. And then you're going to come in and pray. And my family broke, broke up. Well, wait a minute. God ain't watching no 13 inch TV. He watches a big screen. Who was the accessory? Huh? Who, who, was, who was up there playing? Up? Oh, I don't want to come together, but uh uh. I'm just, I mean, I'm playing. Yeah, uh, somebody on this job ain't fired. <laughs> Why this now? You don't have to be an accessory. God just might take him. Maybe he God don't want him to fail. Now what you gonna do? I know you don't believe it, but that's add that with your other unbelief. So you need to tell me God delivered that person. So that person don't want adultery and hormones on their record. Y'all don't think that is this. Some people want to walk with God. Amen. Somebody wanna be a part of the new bride. They don't want to be a part. Of it. Amen. There are people here don't want nothing on their record. They don't want nothing because when they need God, they want to be able to weigh the record under his nose. Know. First of all, I have to tell you, it's already happened. There's some people that say, I wish he was here. Why? Why do you wish he was here? To get the little throne? All his virtue went out. You sat there, amen, and let him be visible so you couldn't restore virtue. What you want him back for? You can't afford that purse on your own. You ain't got no excess money. Why do you want him back? Amen. First of all, amen. If you don't enjoy one another, amen. First, you can't even keep going if God were to take it. You can't keep going. God ain't going to keep making people miserable. Already know. Hey Amen. We're gonna get you some help. And the person who listens to that marriage is over with. Come on now. You know what you're talking to. Anybody trying to tell you not to come together with your husband is not a man of God, period. Anybody taking your time up. In other words, hey amen. You will to talk to your husband. I gotta go. None of your business. Hey amen. Hey amen. I'm teaching right. And that man, he's like, oh, he a gangster. Better believe it, my child, that all black. <laughs> Amen. You too, look at that. 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 year? at that. Look 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 that. beautiful? Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Read. For it came to pass in Solomon's old that his wives turned away his heart after other gods. His, his wife turned away his what? His heart. His heart after what? Other gods. Other gods. How many times you see other gods? You got a problem. Other gods. Okay? Turn away his heart. Read. And his heart was not perfect. They're bringing it like, man, I should have known. I should have been in Bible class, huh? Amen. Sometimes you say somebody like that, man, save that girl's life. Huh? That man, see, here, here's a standard here. That's what I'm talking to you, 14 year old. Man, on the street, I'm talking about marriage and living right or whatever. They were living together. She grew up in this. But the man took 48 hours. That was on a Sunday. Remember that queen? That was on a Sunday. Y'all got married on a Tuesday. How about that? In other words, I want to be right.
Amen. That man saved her life. Do him right. Amen. Do him right. Maybe God is tired of us. You know, uh, 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 Rihanna's father made her rich. Not sin. You got pretty eyes. You can't see. Uh, but her, her, her beauty probably made her rich. Maybe God tired her. He want to blow you up. Wouldn't that be a testimony of Brandon, amen, and Bree, amen, and how she was a backslider, but came home, amen, and the man met her in 48 hours, so he didn't know, he didn't grow up in this, amen, and God bless them, hey, oh, Lord, wow, y'all playing with me, huh? And then they become the harbinger, they become the role model for another generation of men who were dying the street who needed a good woman. Amen. Men want good women. Amen. They don't want no strange women. Amen. There's some men are not homeowners. There's some good men. There's another great amen. There's a kid man. Huh? This woman is a single mom but raised a good man. Amen. But it takes teaching. Not preaching. Because the strange woman don't care what I say or not. The strange woman, the evil man can care less. If you don't get it, they care less. They come and see you. Believe that. Okay? You're going to have to fight to maintain the happiness and stuff. That's on you, Leah. You was very wrong that both of their ages put together. But you don't have to fight to maintain that. You don't have to fight. That's some crazy up there. Somebody come and say like, that key belongs to me. Aggressive. Y'all ain't ready for an aggressive demon. One that ain't going away. Huh? Watch this now. Did not talk to them? So she's going to go to that cafeteria and mess it up. Right. Some have to go and sit back and say, huh? Watch his old slick. Why am I wearing that old slick street boot? I'll just become her friend. Yeah, I'll just become, come on, Kwan, help him. Kwan, amen. I'll just become her friend. Right. Oh, I saw you. What is your wife? Oh, she's beautiful. Oh, I need her to mentor me. I need to find out, amen, if, we, if I can get close to her and she can tell me some things about you, amen. And whatever she tells me, I'll be what she's not. Y'all, y'all tend that. I don't know why y'all tatted up. That did to be racist. Wait till an aggressive spirit come after you. And I know it's coming because I'm teaching. Aggressive. Don't take no for no answer. Huh? All of a sudden, hey, man, you come to the studio. Hey, now with my kids right here. Amen. She already did. Ah, uh, it looks like Max is a uh, boomerang with a trench coat. Yes. Yeah. 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 coming. Somebody, some spirit said, uh -uh, I was pursuing him too. I knew him too. Amen. Mm, thank God you went no poor mother. Look at the mess you would have. <laughs> and all of a sudden, watch this, but because the woman of God, who's the protect of your husband, you're supposed to protect your husband from strange men. Not open the door. But see, the Holy Ghost had already told free. You can have the difference. Now, Bishop Homie just has to go and come home, and here she is. Stuck in ground when most of the dudes got purses bigger than <laughs> you want a dude from a clan. Really? Really? <laughs> that bag too hot. Really? That 
do, man, I told you to get some French on your feet. His feet look better than y'all. And a laugh? Here's a real man and laugh? But the Holy Ghost told you. Say, Dave, now, thank God you're a friend. Dave, now, this one's a dress. I know, baby. I know. Watch this now. Huh? See, it'd be easy if she was told from the blow up. It's a bad. If it ain't something you like, it ain't temptation. That's why we don't have test the line, sir. Right. If you give me five stuff you didn't like. Right. Amen. Right. Hey, and the only one that ever we ever listen to would be KT. Because he needs to get delivered from Hagen, y'all. So he can be around here and be an example. Amen. Hey, so KT hey, said, I'm delivered from Hagen, y'all. Hey, we all start shouting. Amen. That's a testimony. Yes, it is. lying. I'm the world. You got to get my side. Why would you? <laughs> I don't need the call you I'm the world. This, the world. I'm like, oh, you have no personality. I'm like, what up on you? They don't know some little windshield. They don't know how to do. They don't know how to do the double turn. They don't know how to do You don't have problems. There's some people, the people are after. After your joy, after your smile, after your commitment. Amen. Man, amen. Because you have a testimony. You got something to wave under God's nose. Amen. You have a fragrance from your life. There's a strange one evil man coming after you. I don't care who you are. The Holy Ghost say this is his grace. Huh? She's going to try to boomerang, pin your husband down. Huh? And then she is thinking they all along, and you come up with an extra set of underwear, like you need to put this on. If we don't, if we don't finish this off. Uh, by the way, not a fact, amen. See, you forgot, amen. You got me twisted. I'm not one of these cute chicks, amen. I take care of my husband. God already told me he was coming, amen. And we got mad at you. You didn't get the ticket. He got it. I got it. Hey, you can't break this up. We asked for a sister. We saw it as a rock, amen. You, you can't break this up, amen, huh? The child met repent, amen. You get the Holy Ghost naked, amen. And you repent. Then she's not home, son. Then she got a testimony. Huh? Those of you that want amen to go to a real studio and a real man of God and a woman of God, go to amen, baby, I'm baby studio. His wife is all back, amen. I'll tell you later on, amen, because I saw why she a nice guy. Why she a amen, a guy like that, and I wanted what she had. And even though, amen, I had a failed attempt, she didn't even throw me away. She laid hands on me, amen, and said that God had rewarded our faithfulness. Y'all playing with me. Because if Solomon lose the kingdom, that's the, that's the end of the story. <laughs> that's it, people. That's it. So if you're a strange woman, you married, you've been helping a strange woman, you're in trouble now. You ain't did nothing but help strange women. I'll get you some help. Uh, it don't matter. Uh, really? And his heart was not perfect, but the Lord is God. His heart was not what? He's not perfect, but the Lord is God. It's not what you say, it's what's in your heart right now. God knows what's in your heart. You could be saying, hey, man, if I can have hatred in your heart. The heart is the seat of all things, and that's what we can look in the reach. As was the heart of David, his father. For Solomon went after Ashtoreth, the goddess of the Zidonians. Here you go, here you go, here you go. He's talking about the heart of David. He said, well, what the heart of David messed up? You know why David messed up? Because he could not handle what we call dot, D-A-R-T. Amen. He could not handle another person. Amen. So, Bathsheba, when he saw her that, that morning, the Hebrew version he is, his bird it is, he thought that he was a hunter. So he thought he saw a big bird. Amen? He saw a big bird. 
Because when you shoot it, and what it was, and you see that when you look at the safe door to any, safe will go to any means necessary to take a strong man down. Right. So a strong man don't even need a strong woman. Right. Huh? So, so an area of the teacher 19 because she got no attitude will say, I'm hot. You got to say nothing else. I've got a strong man. He's going to stay strong. Amen. And I'm going to do my part. Ain't no death going to roll up on no strong man. We're going to be, we gonna be dancing and old hands coming to church 20 years from now. Amen. Because I'm going to make my strong man down. Amen. It looked like it was a bird or something. He shot at it and it wasn't a screen and he saw it happen. Now he could have finished this, whatever men do when they see something they want, like this. And we're all home. Because before the foundation of the world, they were going to be together. He didn't have to lie. But Solomon, but Solomon was a part that heard the first child die and they prayed. Huh? Uh, I know y'all don't believe it, but they were in sin and they prayed, right? right? For a baby to live, right? Is that in your Bible? Right. They prayed for a baby to live. Who was the answer? No. Who, 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 who was the answer tomorrow? No. Okay, all right, all right. So Solomon, a Solomon doesn't just come up. That's before the foundation of the world. So her husband, and remember, everything he tried, anytime you try to cover sin, God's going to kick the bed and pull back the cup. That's if you mean something to him. Right? You let you get momentum, it's a wrap. The momentum lets you know he, you're some milk carton that's going to expire. Yeah, I just messed some of y'all up. Amen. If you swear people get away with stuff. No, if, if, if God would have loved her, he would have checked them early. But because he didn't, he's going to wait until he walked right into his last. I put my flight for Paris. It's confirmed. Not, not, not the one in August, the one in January. Look, wow, you got a ticket to that thing, yeah? That thing ain't gone. Huh? So it's confirmed. Right? All I gotta do is keep living and get on that plane. Are y'all here while I'm with this? That's why right. it's confirmed. Guaranteed. Okay? So if that's right, Y'all don't believe it, it don't matter, it don't matter. Let me talk this thing, let So, he was going to be a Bathsheba anyway. He could have went on, did his sins. It was Tuesday night, I take that enough, he could have went on. All right, I'll uh, get yeah, educated. Because uh, <laughs> they were going to be there anyway. Which meant her husband, who every time they were trying to cover it, did. But finally, they got to see, because when you didn't see, you did yes. So he said, here, here, make for a no. And call the man and carry a note. And the note says, put me in the heel of the Yes. Ain't that nice stuff? Oh, uh, y'all don't know the story? Yes, sir. Amen. Uh, that's in case somebody just secretly and formulated something and you're going to get away with it. Come on. Come on. Huh? So they, so sure enough, put the man's out. They just said he went to a park. Boom, he just went. He is so. David, what would I tell you? Oh, dude, there's a pastor in the city who had a 20-year, what you call it, boot thing, had somebody to live with. When he died, and he died, you know what I'm When he died, he died the day he was walking down the aisle with his boot thing. The day, yeah. I cut the obituary out, and I got a clip in my Bible. Y'all ain't hearing me. I got a clip in my Bible. Oh, hey, man. As a reminder, amen. I ain't got nobody, but as a reminder, hey, y'all ain't hearing me. As a reminder, here's somebody else who can quote scripture and everything else, but they could not live right. He ain't God. Pronounce a verdict, amen. If you live right, you're not going to make it to the heavens, amen. You are not going to wait till year 21. And, and what, what those bricks going to make you mad? You don't believe it? Ain't no way David getting away with this people. No way. Ain't no way. <laughs> Some men of God. David had a little righteousness that set the man up. Talking about there was a man, he only had one, another man had all these people, and he took that one man and said, Where are you at? Amen. Fourfold, amen against him. And then he was talking about himself. So the man of God, then he said, You are that man. Cost 
tempo. Fall to Lourdes. Fall to Lourdes with somebody he was going to be with anyway. See, when you don't believe God to get destined. Now, I have my daughter, she has access to these, so she get help. So I showed her, I told her about the, the hurricane. She saw, she said, no, I was listening. You mean to tell me, no matter what you did, whether it be finance, wealth, I knew y'all was getting a partner. I knew y'all was going to get a partner. I don't think it. If God had a, let somebody sleep, walk down through there. Amen. Why? Because he did it for them. Amen. That's why y'all hooked up. God did it for them. They weren't going to have no apartment. They didn't have something with y'all. They didn't have no credit. They didn't have no God. And look at to duplicate what they did. Yeah. Yeah. I know you got a big arm below. Wait for your time to have for Amen. You got a big fat arm below. I know you keep a little 15 cent. Amen. Somebody else believes God. Amen. You see, if you believe God, you don't believe God. You believe God. Like he's going to send y'all everything on this. Well, 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 guess what? If you have that kind of faith, all you do is you encourage the enemy to bring a stranger woman and an evil man. I want the guard truck. I don't want you to relax. You know, y'all got like, great love affairs. Y'all be like, y'all just enjoy the world. I want the guard truck. Because this ain't no game. Uh, if the cars are up, you'll treasure every day. Another thing is, you don't know how long you're going to be with each other. Amen, huh? So ain't nothing wrong with saying we got time to argue. If we have a misunderstanding, we're going to go to bed away. We ain't got time not speaking. All we got is each other. Amen. Amen. How can I protect who I ain't speaking to? That's too much for y'all. Amen. Solomon, come so back to David. So David, David ends up. First baby dies. He's fasting. Did the baby live? No, baby dies. He said, I'm a good fasting. Baby died. Right. Now, let's pick up Saul. Okay? Alright? So here this man. First of all, he should have known what his father did. See how the father didn't tell him nothing? The other son of the whole father, David, messed himself up. Right? So he didn't tell him about it. Right? Bathsheba is Solomon's mom. So watch this now. There's another thing that's over your head, but too bad. Uh, when, you, when you hook up with somebody, you got to find out. They, find out about their father. Because that's who's blood they got. Does that make sense? Find, no, find out what they fighting. Amen. Because that's the blood in there. Satan is always after the male seed. I'm just saying, so when you see your husband, you know his father, and he'll bypass, oh my God, rap, whatever, you always hear him pray. Why? Because you got two sons by him. Amen. And so when you see him selling out my baby, buy 149 worth of cars, amen, with an iffy job, oh God, fight him. He can be shrinking. He can be, amen, amen, suicidal. He can be able to walk out on his family. Amen. Y'all gotta be shocked. Amen. Y'all can't just be made up now. This is too much. I ain't, I ain't worth this. This is heavy stuff. This ain't no sit there, amen, cheerleading camp. This is about your life. This is about Dr. Bakaye, amen. This is about the good life, amen. This is amen. Look in the face every time he comes and holds you. Whether evil man or evil woman, you do come out victorious, amen. You got laughing at what Satan's trying to do to y'all. He ain't breaking us up, amen. We were made for each other. I was made for you, amen. He ain't coming here breaking this home up. Huh? Uh-oh. Man, he had told me if I was right still for him. I would have the rest of my music. Tell me now, they tell me if you're still with him. Now you got me. I already hear they were going to do that, so I put some money aside. Hey, Amen. We don't need them no more. We got the internet. Hey, Amen. If we got, if, you know what? If we hit one artist, if we can get one Taylor Swift that's saved. One saved Taylor Swift is all you need. Man, you know. That's right. Okay. They, man, I don't think they can sing. Whatever she got on her, she got on her. Don't go with it because you don't like a song on it. Anyway, if you ain't wanting to go with Taylor Swift, you, you, on, you on the radio. <laughs> you can do 
you want to save Taylor Swift. Got to be more income than and all the Diddy fans. Anybody know? Anybody know any band Diddy with that makes much music? <laughs> no, you do not. Amen. Huh? Those kids at 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 a, at a metal stadium. Uh, they are they are they are Uber driving, making up a band. Huh? Some of them are still. Some of them are shoplifting. Diddy, Diddy, who can't sing, can dance. It's worth seven hundred million dollars, and everybody you've been involved with ain't got nothing. Amen. Huh? You get one Taylor Swift. What am I telling you? Don't panic. Don't panic. Y'all hear me? Y'all, y'all in y'all in Wonderland right now? Y'all in Love Land? That's an old Charles Watson and Thirsty Band song. Right? Y'all in Love Land right now? Don't panic. You hear me? Don't panic. So I'm coming your way. That's why you have fun time. That's why you soar up. Amen. Oh, he said it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Is it coming lately? It's coming. It's coming, it's coming your way. That's why I love my kids. They be busy. They be like, man, that's that girl there. She'll be on like a bird. Like, it's coming. It's coming your way. But thank God for a word. Amen. Amen. When you find something, say, here we go. Here come a strange woman and an evil man. Amen. As opposed to Chicken holy is, which is why I man. Ask my sister, I told her. 
have a ticket holding this. Wants to get married, just from there. There's gonna be multiple crowds at it. There's gonna be multiple. <laughs> Nobody is crying to queen of color. Tell them, you married, right? You gotta go out of town with your husband who lost his father. You gotta go there, amen, and be a shoulder for him. We don't, it's the first time in his life he never had his dad. Even though he was sick, help him to quit living in some gang. So you gotta be there while this big, strong, real man, man, amen, is broken, amen. Huh? You gotta be there, right? On this show, amen. We don't know how long it's gonna take. Amen. You can't be making fun of him all you week or whatever. No, uh-uh. Hey, come on, man. Thank God, amen. He had a dad, amen. But you gotta be there for him. Everybody gets the turn. Joys multiply. 
If something come up, you put the penny out. If something come up, you get the umbrella out. If something come up, amen. That's what that's for. It's mother. You can look at the same thing over and over again and be happy. There's some joys you can't just experience one time. You bring them up. Huh? You bring it up great. Man, I put it in the paper doing time, and you came along, and amen. You know, I was walking, my mother raised me right. Amen. But you made a decision that cost me, and amen. But thank God that was then, this is now. But you married me in 48 hours, amen. And I'll never forget that. That's supposed to be greater than this flaw. Ooh, Lord, have mercy. Oh, I know, I know. The base, son, is. Sorrows shared. Anytime somebody has sorrow by themselves, you ain't the one. And that can be a disqualified amen. So somebody said, you know what? God said, I'm hooking up and that person, that person, amen, cannot hold sorrow. Can't hold sorrow. Can't hold sorrow. Uh, and there are people who would have messed themselves up. Guess what mess they married up? A miscarriage. A miscarriage. Some out of control. A miscarriage. And the woman blame herself. And you're like, I don't know what's wrong. One comment can ruin your life. Yeah. 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 They don't believe it. One comment can ruin your love affair. Did I say two comments? One comment. One insensitive comment at the right time. And that's man. And now, instead of it being an open vault, the vault, son, a vault is you have things you share. That's how your memory is when you came from. You got things that you can Childhood, don't eat anything. You just shit because you're trusting that that person won't bring it up in an argument. Yeah, See, that's why when I said it's kind of hard. But people who don't review things, I'm sorry. Don't make this don't make when you see marriage, you run. Because you can't because if something comes, something makes you mad, and you already mad, but something makes you mad, you won't bring up something. So now, now you're going to take inside information and hurt somebody with it. Okay? So, Amen, you got to learn that. Definitely like in the power of some people that can't control their mouth, who don't know what to say or when to say, or you don't say nothing, you are disqualified for long-term covenant relationship. Amen. Because when you should say something, you're quiet. When you should say nothing, you open in your mouth. Amen. And then your time out is so much to learn in a short period of time. Amen. But thank God, amen. You always ask God for the wisdom if you don't know what to say. And most times we don't know what to say. But you ask God, give me what to say, and God will do it. God say, say. So and so. But you said the first thing comes to your mind. It goes like this. I know. Uh, I'm wasting my time. It's my time. Uh, uh, my guess what I thought we got time. They went to somebody else. You gotta be kidding. Oh, don't worry about it. Then the next one's gonna be better. Simple comment like that. Does that make sense? You're in the music business. You don't know if somebody sent some money on the table. It's a dirty business. Somebody could have sent some money on the table. It could have been some other it's, it's a dirty business. It's dirty. Now let's revisit with the mom back. Oh, this is Oh, in the contract. Now they said, it ain't no good. I think you're going to get it anyway. Huh? See, she laughed. She's like, I don't know. She said, huh? I think you're going to get it anyway. I mean, you all right, but don't, don't, hey, don't, don't call me. You think I'm playing. I've been with you half my life. You know what I'm talking to? You don't know these people. Swear, swear to God they think they're ready. Ask them. If you tell them they're not ready, you gotta beat them for breakfast, dinner, something. Don't be sweating out of here. They take care of that. Huh? Because they are telling body calling. Right? Your sin has nothing to do with any court, right? 
It's the wrong thing at the right time. You are right. Come on, Aaron. You can't be jealous of your partner's gift. By the time somebody might, thank God, you got a woman and God in the back of But by the time somebody else might, they can have a nation, bring a nation, you should have had 24 likes and share it and post it. Ain't nobody gonna beat me celebrate. I'm gonna have a baby and man. I'm gonna put on his nest. I'm gonna watch him grow up. I'm gonna watch him repent. How you get ahead of me? Satan trying to take the hands of this stuff. Satan trying to take him out. And he got hit in the head. And he get hit in the head in the right spot. No more music, right? No more that said. No more spinning like Jackie Wilson. All that comes in there with spot. Man, that boy got that said. All that belongs to God. The gift belongs to God. Everything belongs to God. Amen. All that, that boy gifted. But he got hit in the head. Yes, he did. And he'll take that head and put it between your legs and you have to pray for him. And oh, come on now. Amen. Because so amen. Before y'all got down there, he went down there by himself and that weird mental patient. And when he pointed him out, thought he gonna stab somebody today. This ain't no game, people. Oh, excuse me. So when did you get the email that Satan gonna leave y'all alone? So I'm going to raise up a young woman who ain't going to be comfortable, who's going to have fun, going to have enjoyment, going to both of my joy. But you after my, you after my soul, you after my husband, mm-hmm. and you ain't getting neither one of them. Amen. That's not every other day. That's every day. You are not getting my soul, and you're not going to use me to get to my husband. Amen. I'll build him up when he makes me mad. Oh, that's another woman right there. Amen. If he makes me mad, I'll see him. You know you all that. Now, he done did something made you mad, amen. So it's like, I'm gonna show, show him what? Show him what? I'm gonna put on one of the beats he made. I bet he can't say that, I'll bounce around here. I bet he can't say that. I bet he forgot, amen, I bet he, I'll make him forget. That's the teachers, people. Amen. In other words, what is that? What? Okay, y'all, mm, you ain't worth it, I'm gonna do it anyway. Huh? It, because, wait a minute. Another man, that, that caused him to review. Oh, I said something stupid. I said something insensitive. And look at this great woman. She's going to put on my music. Oh, Amen. So that means you know, it don't matter. You don't come to yourself. Because you really are a man of God. You don't come to your, uh, you don't come to yourself. If I'm mad, if, if, if we just have to tag, what? Well, you make me mad, I make you mad. Then you ain't got no relationship. You should have never gotten married. Somebody's got an amen when somebody's mad. He's got to say, you know what? It's just one of those things. We ain't been together long enough. Amen. You really know everything about each other. Now, come on now. He got a deadline. Don't move your way. He got a deadline. Do something. Got a deadline. Got to head out. Ain't mixed right. Something wrong with it. Something wrong with it. Something wrong with it. Yeah, I know. I mean, you didn't talk to me. Yet. Something wrong with it. Ain't right though. But ain't right. I know. But it's got the gift. Those kids hear music in their head. Amen. We got that timing. But they hear music in their head. They're not shunning you. They say something sharp. They said, I got. I show you now that something ain't right, ain't right. Can't be offended. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take an and go back to Omaha.
Y'all been trying to cut the blood circle. Uh, <laughs> pressure point. I didn't pass out. <laughs> Come on, Aaron. I didn't want to say I didn't even see three, three keyboards. <laughs> what is that? What is that? What is, what is the silence say? I didn't take it personally. You still all that? Yeah. God don't give you what it takes to finish this. Please let a strange woman come in. Yes, sir. You hear her? Strange woman. Wait till he starts to tell you about all the ones trying to roll up on. And you're going to laugh. Keep working to the table. Because he thinks it's funny that Satan thinks somebody's going to replace you. But they don't talk to you? Hmm. Yeah. Too immature. Okay? Let me give y'all some help and I'm glad you're cooling off of my verbal. So uh, I'm going to help some of you wives. I'm going to help some of my young people. I got people who are going to teach about 15 minutes. Some of y'all go home because you're already mad. A lot of people don't teach, but they don't teach you. I want the married women with Linda. She's going to tell you something about your body. Okay? I want the young women. I don't care if it's one. I'm going to do it. My wife is going to teach teenagers how to keep their body clean. And how to clean it. Everybody know what it is? All right. Now, you can dump. That ain't your job. Shut up. I'll pass it to you. Okay? Somebody don't know. Somebody who thinks they know don't know. Amen. So I got a ultra clean wife. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> no, no, no. No, just, 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 just take it. No, ultra. Almost so far. So better than a funkadelic. You got clips all in the bed. You about to pass up to the tent table. Eyelashes falling out and stuff and eyebrows and six six. <laughs> now I'm done. So, who, who wants training from my wife? Who wants training from my wife? Y'all want to train them? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, thank you. All right, go some training. All right, good. Now, 15 to be with you, okay? Hey, Amen. I mean, that if you want some training. All right, that's all. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful. Beautiful. How about that? Oh, man. How about that? Right. I need you to tell her. See how I do? They won't squander the blessing. Amen. You know what's so interesting about my job? Is the people who should be here who are not here, not the hour of them are there. Because they got a problem with the teachers. Ooh. It don't make no difference. Amen. Alright? Uh, so I'm tired of my I'm I ain't doing this to sleep. I'm not there yet. I don't get before you get back up. I didn't do this, I'm out. I'm going to pull something. Leave the tie down, I'm going to break it. See, Eric, I would get them help early. Get them help early.